Good morning, welcome my friends. I have a really fun and easy wreath for you today. In today's crafting adventure, we're going to be making a basic curly wreath into this adorable ladybug wreath. Now for today's project, you're going to need two of the red rolls of deco mesh that you can get from Dollar Tree. They are six inches by five yards. This comes out of their regular floral garden section and this is of their better mesh. It is sealed. You're also going to need a package of the black pipe cleaners and one of the 8 inch wreath forms to get started. You want to cut your mesh into strips of 6 inches and you will be using two complete rolls for this project. I have my mesh cut into strips of 6 inches. And I have some pipe cleaners here that I've cut in half. I'm going to be using my Bodabra. I really like to use this machine when I'm making my bundles. I do have arthritis, so it is difficult for me to hold things. But if you have good hands, you can always hold this in your hands, or you can use a clip if you don't have a bow maker. Now for each bundle, you're going to need two six inch strips and we're going to be doing the basic curly method. So you just start at one end and you slowly roll until you get all the way to the other side. Now you don't want to do too tight of a roll. I usually go about the size of a fat cigar or a quarter. If you roll your mesh too tight, what happens is your ends will stick out and then you'll have a lot of fraying. So two pieces per bundle. Wrap your pipe cleaner around the center, pull it to the back. I always like to pull everything down. That helps me get a nice tight grip. Pinch at the base and twist. And that is what your little bundle will look like. I'll show you one more time. To attach your bundles to your wreath, you want to attach it to the center bar and the outer bar. Now this wreath has three sections and a section is between the two crossbars. In each section you will place 10 bundles. Now you should be able to get a total of 30 bundles out of two rolls, which will give you 10 bundles per section. If you're short one or two bundles, that's okay. Now to attach these, Start from the front and feed to the back. You want to wrap your pipe cleaners around those two bars. Pull them together and give a good twist or two. Then I like to pull my pipe cleaners together. And then I push them forward. This helps the back of my wreath stay looking nice and clean. And then you just push it over. Once the front here gets full, you won't see the pipe cleaners at all. All you'll see is that really pretty deco mesh. So just keep adding your bundles until you get your wreath base filled. And there you go, I have the base all complete. I'm very happy. Now when the base is complete on this, you have a 13 inch in diameter wreath, which is a nice size. I really do love the texture that the curl method gives you. Now you're gonna need a piece of wood round. I went through my stash and this is what I found. 
This is a natural piece of wood that's been cut. It does come with some jute cord. I did get this from Dollar Tree. This is uh, slightly over about five inches in diameter. So that is about the size that you need. You can use any wood round that's right around five inches. This is all that I had in my stash that fit the bill. So this is what I'm gonna use. I am going to remove the jute cord and remove the staples if I can. I got my jute cord off and the staples removed. Now I'm just going to give it a good coat of solid black paint and I'm just using Apple Barrel's matte black paint. So while our paint is drying, I'm going to move forward. You're also going to need a package of the black pom-poms that you can get at Dollar Tree. They come 80 in a pack. These are going to be our little black dots on our ladybug. So I'm just going to work my way and add them around the wreath. Just add a little bit of hot glue and place them wherever you'd like. I got all my little pom-poms glued on. I'm happy with that. And I still have plenty left over from that one package. So you can put on as many or as few as you like, whatever look you're trying to achieve. Now you're gonna need one full length pipe cleaner. I'm gonna find the center and pinch. So you have a little V. And then you wanna take each of those ends and curl them down. I just grab and, and curl until I get it as tight or loose however you want. So just grab the end and then twist. I just kind of wrap it around my thumb and then grab it again and curl again. And they look like that. Then you need your little wood round. You need to decide which end is the end that you want out, which is this one for me, and then which side you want up. I'm gonna go to the shop. So I'm gonna glue on my little guys here on the back. My little guy is dry there. So now I've turned it over and on the opposite side and the opposite end, I've attached two pipe cleaners. I also took a little bit of burlap ribbon and placed it over the top. I would have preferred to have stapled these in, but I only have like half inch staples and they would have come through this and I don't want that because I don't want the wood to split either. So I went ahead and just did the hot glue. And now when we attach this, we're going to be attaching it on the outer ring. You just need to pick what area you want. You just place it on either side of that bar and tighten it down and then tuck and hide your pipe cleaners. So it'll be facing this way as you attach it to your wreath. I have my pipe cleaners nice and tight and I've tucked them. Now the last thing that I'm going to do it, to help this stay in the position is I'm just going to add a bunch of hot glue down here where the mesh is. 
and then I'm going to just push the mesh down and allow that to also secure the head of our ladybug. And there you go, we're all done. I'm really happy with the end result. I think our ladybug wreath is absolutely adorable. This is great for beginners because this is a basic curly wreath. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show some love in the comments. And if you know anyone who would enjoy my content, please share it with them. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoy craft tutorials and hauls, you're going to want to check out these other videos. You have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next video.